OK, so today we're going to look at no cost VPNs for the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube. There's a few out there that are long standing VPNs which do offer these no cost versions of their VPN. We're going to have a look at each one and see which one you think is the best. Hold tight, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we're going to look at no cost VPNs for the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube. Now, I know many people out there will say there's no such thing as a mm, lunch, but there is in actual fact. These VPNs aren't fly by night VPNs. They've been around for a while. They're not there to steal your data. They're not there to do anything but try and really get you to look at adverts or to for you to buy the uh, more professional versions to give you more data or more features. So if you are worried about using one of these no cost VPNs, then what you can do is you can sign up for a free email address and sign up and sign in with that free email address if you're really that worried. Or if you really are petrified that you're handing your details over to a fly by night company, no one is forcing you to do this. It's really down to your own choice. All I can say is these VPNs have been around for many, many years. None of them have just suddenly appeared on the, the scene. And I think by now, if these companies were up to no good, they would have been found out and closed down pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is I've, I haven't got the best speed internet connections. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to run a speed test on my Fire Stick just to, to, to give you a baseline of what speed I'm actually getting. So I'm going to use this app here, test net speed. And there you go. As you can see, I'm getting about 22, 23 megabits per second. Not the greatest of speeds, but to be quite honest with you, it does stream everything. I throw at it, I don't get really much buffering to be quite honest with you, if any at all. Most apps can function quite perfectly on around 20 megabits per second. OK, 4K stuff might be a bit of a struggle, but it gives you an idea of what I'm getting. Now, I do have a paid for VPN. So let's just first of all, let's just switch on my paid for VPN and just have a look and see what I'm actually getting. So uh, let's connect. There we go. We're connected and I'm going to go back and I'm going to run another speed test. So let's just do that and see what we're getting when we run the next speed test with the VPN connected. So it's knocked off about a megabit. So I was getting 22.98. Now I'm getting 21.98. There's always going to be a little bit of loss when you add a VPN due to overheads. That's quite natural. So don't worry about that. So what we're looking for is in comparison to a paid for VPN. OK, I've got 21.61. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, is I'm going to disconnect from my paid for VPN. And let's go back. Let's just check out Winscribe. That's the first one. Now, with Winscribe, you get 10 gigabytes of data per month. It's not a lot of data, not if you're going to be streaming. But what you could do is you could use other non-cost services as well as this. And when you run out of data on one, just skip to the next. So Winscribe has quite a few server locations there. You can get it to automatically select the best location for you, or you can choose a location that suits you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one that's close by to myself. So just in, in all fairness, so if I can't get any closer than the United Kingdom, so I'm going to go into United Kingdom. Some of the, uh, the servers here, the ones we stars on, you have to upgrade to have them. So it gives you a limited number of servers. So they're, they're doing this in the hope that at some point you will think to yourself, OK, I'm going to upgrade this for a better experience or more flexibility. So let's just go on to London Crumpets. Just going to allow that to connect. And there you go. It says it's connecting. 
and it's connected. So with it connected, let's go down to the speed test and let's just see what we're getting. So with the paid for VPN, I was getting 21.5. With Windscribe, I'm getting around about 22. So without the VPN, I was getting 22.98. So in actual fact, I'm getting slightly better than what I'm getting from my paid for VPN. Now let's just go back to Windscribe and just have a look at some of the features there. So let's go up to the settings. So here we can choose our language. If we go into the connection settings there, we can change our connection mode. We can also use split tunneling so we can include or exclude certain apps from the VPN. So say for instance, you was using, I don't know, Netflix and Netflix were blocking you from using a VPN, then you could basically split tunnel Netflix. So it didn't go through Windscribe automatically and thus allowing you to carry on using that particular app. You can allow or disallow LAN traffic, i.e. other connections on your local area connection. And also you can auto connect on boot so that you're already connected as soon as you turn your Fire Stick or Cube on circumvent censorship. So for a free version, there's quite a few great features for you there. And again, quite a few different servers or different locations. So, okay, not every location is gonna allow you to use the free, as you can see, I went to Austria there and none of them were free. But if you go into some of the, the, the main servers, like for instance, the United Kingdom and the United States, then you're likely to get quite a few free servers there. So if, if I just go into US Central, there you go, there's a, a few free servers or there's a one free server in two free servers, sorry, in there, or you can just get it to choose the best location. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, no cost VPN. And that one is Award VPN. So uh, let's just go into that Award. And uh, what you need, Award is absolutely free to use. You don't even need to sign up for it. All you need to do is you just need to get a free pin. So you get your free pin from this website just here. That allows you to use the uh, service for six hours uninterrupted. Once you've run out of your six hours, then you can just log back in again and get yourself another pin, which enables you to use the service for another six hours. But what happens is, is when you go to the website to get your pin, you are faced with a website with quite a few adverts. So the idea is they want you to see these adverts so they get paid because you've, been, you've viewed these adverts by the advertiser and that's how they pay for the service. So once you've got your pin, you can just go up to the connection there and type in your pin code, which I'm gonna do. Doesn't have to match the case that it shows. You can type it in, in lowercase if it was shown to you all in uppercase. And there we go, let's just connect to the VPN. And there you go, it's connected. So while I'm connected, I'm just gonna do another speed test. So let's just go down to the speed test app. So as I say, with Nord, I got about 21 and a half. With Windscribe, I got about 22. Without the VPN, I was getting about 22.98. So as you can see here with Award connected to the UK, this is a Saturday afternoon. So Saturday afternoons are quite popular for a certain reason with uh, a lot of VPNs and free ones are obviously obviously going to be quite busy, but we're still getting a respectable 18.9 megabits per second connected to the UK. So let's just go back to Award VPN and let's have a look and see what we've got there. So we've got, again, it can select the best location that we want. We've got Finland, we've got a couple of servers in France, we've got Sydney, we've got Canada, we've got Finland, more France again, Germany, Hong Kong, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Mexico, Netherlands, Norway, Romania, Singapore, Sweden, Ukraine, a couple in the UK and quite a few in the USA too. So 
there's quite a bit of choice in award vpn and like i say the best thing about it is is that you don't have to give a username and a password. You don't have to give your email address because you're actually uh, getting this free for six hours just by visiting a website and getting a PIN number that you enter in here. And as you can see there, you've got a countdown clock at the top there. Once you've run out of hours, then just go back to the website, look at all the pretty advertising so that they get paid and then put in your PIN number, your new PIN number, and that gives you another six hours. So let's move along to another no cost VPN called Privado. Now, when you do search for this, I'm just going to show you there's a, a version of this that doesn't work on mine and it's the purple one. If I go into that, it tells me app not found. So if you're getting this, go into the more blue version of Privado and that should download and install. As you can see here, we've got best location selection by country. Let's go into that. And we've got quite a few countries in there. We've got all the typical ones. You can search by city or by speed. You can also add countries to favorites as well or servers to favorites as well. Now with Provado VPN, you do get on the no cost version. Again, you get 10 gigabytes worth of free time or free data after you've used up the 10 gigabytes that's at full speed once you've used up the 10 gigabits you get only one megabit of speed so you're restricted on the speed after you've used up your 10 gigabytes of streaming data so let's just give it a whirl so i'm going to again connect to united kingdom and uh, it's now connecting and there you go, it's saying connected. So let's just go back to the good old fateful speed test and uh, let's have a look, see what we're getting. There we go, we're getting around about 21.75. It's fluctuating quite a bit there, but still quite a respectable speed. There you go, we ended up with 21.58. So again, a really good speed there from Provado. And let's have a look in the settings. If we go into there, we've got auto connect. We've got uh, protocol selection. We've got smart route. So again, if you don't want certain apps to go through the VPN, like for instance, say if you didn't want the BBC iPlayer to go through, then you could exclude that by adding that too. Again, as I say, 10 gigabytes of data usage on that. Not a lot for streaming, but if you include Winscribe as well, then uh, that's 20 gigabytes a month of free streaming or free data that you've got through those two VPNs alone. And you've also got Award, which is unlimited, and there's still more to come, so hang tight. So the next one we're gonna look at is hide.me. That's hide.me. Me. That again is another no cost VPN. It does have a limitation to it, 10 gigabytes per month that you can use. And as you can see here, it tells you your experience is limited. Go premium to take advantage. Let's just have a look. Let's just select the location. So we're going to select the United Kingdom there and let it connect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the good old fateful speed test and let's just see what we're getting. So, OK, then. So at the moment, it's kicked off around about just shy of 22 megabits per second. So this is, again, like I say, quite a good VPN hide dot me. 10 gigabytes of free usage each month. And there we go. 21.67. So let's just go back into hide.me and see what features we have. So we've got there different locations, a few. We've got France, Germany, Netherlands, Singapore, Spain, United Kingdom, and a few in the United States as well. We can do an IP check just to make sure that we are protected. If we go down to settings, so we've got there the protocol so we can select automatic or we can manually select our protocol if we want to. We can use IPv4 or IPv6. We can change the language. We can set auto connect. 
connect. We've got a network protection thing, which is a kill switch, and we can allow access to devices on the local network as well if we want to. And we've also got split tunneling. So again, if we don't want a certain app to go through the VPN, then we can exclude it by adding it to the split tunneling list. And the final one we're going to look at today is quite a popular one for many, many people. Been around for many, many years. It's completely unrestricted in terms of data. So you've got unlimited data. It's called Proton VPN. You have to sign up with uh, your email address on, on, on that and a password, but I think their main goal is to try and sell you the more professional version, which gives you also unlimited access, but access to other servers too. We've only got three servers that we can access here. That's the Netherlands, that's United States and Japan. The rest of them are limited, unfortunately, to paying customers only. So let's just have a look. Let's go into the Netherlands first of all, and let's just connect. Again, you've got a connection with Stream Plus that is only available on the uh, Plus plan, which you do have to pay for. So let's just connect. There you go, we're connected. And let's go back to the speed test and have a look, see what we're getting. It looks like pretty typical speeds to be quite honest with you. 21.7, 721.8 nearly. It's fluctuating a bit, which is pretty typical, but that is a typical speed for a, uh, a VPN on my connection. In terms of usability on Proton VPN, it is quite restricted. We don't have a lot of the functions that some of the others had. So we don't have split tunneling, we don't have auto connect, we can't manually select the protocols. So, but it is a good unlimited VPN. You can use this as much as you like, but you are restricted to just three countries and uh, no auto connect, no protocols selection and no split tunneling. So there you go. There's a few great no cost VPNs for your Fire TV stick and Fire TV cube. I hope this video has helped. And if it, if it has, please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below where you can see my Amazon shop or if you're in the process of looking for a new VPN elsewhere, a paid for VPN, then we've got some great deals down there for you. Plus, if you're looking for a new Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire stick accessories, you can find them again in the description down below. All the links down there for you. Donating, buying or subscribing through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and some more money. Thanks for watching.